Yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm your guy, Vernon Lewis, and oh my goodness, uh, big weekend coming up, right? We got Mother's Day, a lot of graduations. Excuse me? They've done what? You mean to tell me that they have now taught animatronic robots how to what? Boston's Dynamics Robot Atlas has now learned how to run after humans. The uncanny animatronic robot Atlas demonstrates uncanny human-like features while running. So we'll talk about more crazy stuff like that. We're gonna break down this Childish Gambino video that has seemed to blow up the internet and a whole lot more because you are now watching! Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see here, please remember to hit that like button and the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you never miss another video ever again. And it's time to start off with some great television news. Rick and Morty is getting renewed for 70 more episodes. Now, I haven't really been following the Rick and Morty train, but a lot of my friends have, and I dabble in it just a little bit here and there. But from the stuff that I've seen, I've cracked up, laughed, busted a gut, haven't gone to the ER for it because I can't afford it. Ooh, and I'm sure with these last 70, they're gonna rock the house. And it may give me some time to like catch up. I know I got a lot of catching up to do, but I'll, I'll, be, I'll get on it, I'll get on it. Still got a whole bunch of Westworld to catch up on. And by a whole bunch, I just mean two episodes. But you really gotta like, Set the scene, turn off the lights, turn your phone off. Nobody bothers me during Westworld. Nobody. No so that's the good news in television. The bad news in television, because it seems like when they giveth, they taketh away. Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Last Man on Earth will be canceled. I have fallen off the Brooklyn Nine-Nine train and the Last Man on Earth train uh, as well, but I record them, I DVR them, so I can catch them on my weeknights off or my weekend. And it seemed like with all the story arcs that they have going on, it seems like there was some really good stuff happening. But all good things must come to an end. So we pay tribute to the fallen. May your reruns and DVD sales hopefully resurrect you from the dead. Amen. And in some, this is kind of crazy news. Burberry is suing Target for their iconic plaid bags. Now Burberry is not only suing Target for just the bags, they're suing them for eyewear, makeup, scarves. And the crazy thing about it is that they're saying that Target is not a one-time offender. They're saying that Target has done this multiple times in the past. Now Target in the past has worked with people like Philip Lim and Jason Wu so that they can get their own Target brand kind of things that look like certain things and may kind of have the feel of certain things but at more of an affordable Target price. There's been a lot of things in Target's past that I haven't been super proud about. However, that happens in every department store, period. So what do you think? Is this a really big deal to you? Is it gonna make you shame Target? Or do you think Burberry's being on the whiny side? Please, you can always let me know how you feel about these conversations in the comment section below. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a new segment of the show that I call Today I Learned. Now, as you guys know, Childish Gambino, AKA Donald Glover, dropped a banger of a hit that's blowing up the internet and has the internet in a frenzy still called This Is America. The music video dropped the same night he hosted and performed on SNL. It's got a lot of people asking questions. Mostly, what does this all mean? Now you guys have probably seen multiple, multiple videos and web pages and news articles breaking down the hidden gems within this video. Like the Civil War slacks, or the rags to receive the guns as holy grails, or that motherfucking horse in the back that death is riding on. But it seems like a lot of people are hitting on the same veins. The fact that there's a whole bunch of tragedy going on, but Gambino is dancing and smiling with the kids. That all this tragedy is being recorded by cell phone. Now, me personally, I like the fact that there is a list of either rappers who have been sampled or actually got on the track and did their ad-libs 
for the song. But honestly, I am really just excited to find out from his mouth himself, what message was he really trying to send? And I feel like for Childish Gambino being the artist that he is, he's gotten really good with storytelling for music videos. I thought it was amazing. What did you think about This Is America? Are you digging it? Are you kind of disturbed by it let me know in the comment section below ladies and gentlemen that's all i got for you this week it's been a crazy crazy week as you know i'm about to start getting ready to get into rehearsals for a show if you're in the sacramento area and you want to check it out you'll follow me on my facebook and my instagram and i'll keep you posted i also want to take the time out to dedicate this video uh because it is coming out before mother's day to my mother uh, who is no longer with us anymore. So that was one of the reasons why I took a hiatus because I did lose my mom and it was tough. It was hard. But uh, I think the one thing that she would have wanted me to do is continue to do these videos, continue to do my acting and continue just to be the person that I am is to listen to people, have conversations with them, talk things out before getting angry and upset with people, before tossing somebody aside so for Patricia and Lewis, this one's for you. I thank you guys so much for rocking with me. If you like what you saw today, please hit that like button. If you want to get involved in the conversation, put a comment down there in the comment section below. And if you really enjoy these and you want to see more of them, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Because with all that being said, I'm your guy, Vernon Lewis, reminding you, you can help control this YouTube population. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to your favorite YouTube channels like mine and others. And I'll see you next time.